my dog's pulling, her dog's pulling, they want to play, but let's just say we don't have control of them. You can still do uh, the same thing. So Lexi's going to start walking, I'm going to be behind, we're just walking in a circle. So again, even with dogs that we're not holding to expectations, R is trying to take me to Nitro, hey, I want to engage, and overall this is already telling me, right, like, hey, she is interested in playing with Nitro. Your dog's not going to be in a perfect heel position, they may be going out to the side, but I'm going to set it up to where they still can't get to each other. If you've got a strong dog like Ara and she's not trained and she's a, she's a leash puller and wanting to pull, like, I might be keeping a wider berth. I might be coming a little bit further away from Lexi and her dog, right? So that if she's pulling on the extent of the leash, she still can't get to that other dog. So at this point, we're gonna release them. We're gonna stay on the leash. So Argo straight for Nitro. Nitro is kind of being playful, but he's also kind of like backing off a little bit, but he gives us a bow, a play bow. That's good to go. So like this is a little bit of like, most likely if they were off the leash, this would be like a game of chase. So one would chase the other, Nitro's, Nitro's wanting Ara to chase her. 